John and Sue. One bright summer's morning, the sun was brightly shining, when Dame Margaret told her daughter Sue for market to get ready, and John would bear her company, a lad sedate and steady. John went along to drive the horse, so away they went together, with nothing much to talk about but the neighbors and the weather. And when going along the road, close to a barley field, sir, Sue saw a bull, in vigor full, leap upon a cow, sir. Say, John, says she, how can he tell when the cow's a mind for it? Or is the cow by nature turned continually inclined for it. Oh, no, said John. The cow does think when in that situation, and the bull full well the stink does smell and knows her inclination. And then the weather being warm, Sue unloosed her gown, bethought her, and John saw her uh, boobies uh, sticking out, and his mouth began to water. When something in John's uh, breeches rose that made his conscience stagger, so stiff it grew the buttons flew, up popped his tallywagger. Then Susan's dark and rolling eye began to flash and brighten, for now she saw the pretty thing that girls also delight in, says John, said she. Tis fire he read, and now if you will tell me, I will think that I do stink. Pray see if you can smell me. So John got out and tied the horse, and amorously embraced her. And in the wagon, on some hay, with gentle hands, he placed her. At first they took it on their sides, but Sue, she overturned him. And John soon made the butter come with his tallywagger churning. Then Sue got up and shook herself, and sat her down right clever. But they had not gone a mile or so till she stunk as bad as ever. John rasped her off the second time with his good stout repeater, and as he rasped her off again, he swore it tasted sweeter. And then, when come and close to town, poor Sue, she sat to thinking that she would like another go, so she yelled out, I am a-stinking. John said, You have a fiery ours too hot by half, I tell you. And if you think you do stink, by God, I cannot smell you. R.M. Davids, copyright 1924.